can they preach unless they are sent? Uh, got a lot of preachers going, but they ain't sent. Oh, y'all don't like me now. Yes, sir. But that's why I brought it with me. Uh, you got to be sent. Oh, she out now. Because every invitation ain't from God. Oh, yes, sir. And when you start preaching long enough, you'll realize that everybody that invites you to their church don't mean you good. There are some people that can see the gift of God in you, and they just want you to come to their church because you bring revenue. Jesus 
Oh, yes, Lord. He didn't do no tactics. He didn't do no schemes. Oh, shy. Yes, sir. He didn't do none of that stuff. He just said, come follow me. Yeah. See, well, what you got is really good. You don't have to sway nobody. You don't have to, oh, y'all don't like it right now. You ain't got to do all these gimmicks and all of this stuff. Just say, come where I am. Man. Because, because watch this. Where he was, he, he had the power already. And people followed Jesus without resisting him because they seen something different in him. Right now, huh? because for 
That's why you're doing stuff out of order. Huh? Because you got the anointing, huh? but you don't got the knowledge. Huh? And you need the knowledge huh? with the anointing. They don't like it. They don't like this teaching right here. Huh? So watch this, y'all. Huh? Everybody, Etana, huh? yes, Lord. Huh? So just because people want to lead, huh? don't mean they ready to lead. Huh? They might have a zeal to lead, huh? but they don't have the will to lead. Huh? Yes, Lord. That's a good
Bible says, for all have seen, uh -huh. come short of the glory of God. Uh -huh. And the other side of that <laughs> is that we don't see it, but we don't we, we see it, but we don't practice it. Huh? But the other side of that is the self-righteous group. Come on, God. It's the group that think they perfect. Yeah. As soon as somebody makes a mistake, they want to crucify. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Huh? We got one group that's struggling huh? and one group that's practicing. Huh? And you got to have discernment huh? to know who's struggling huh? and who practicing. Huh? And either, in either way, huh? you got to work out your own salvation huh? with fear and trembling. Huh? See, a lot of the reasons some of us huh, can't get it right huh? is because we got our head in too many people's lives. Huh? And we ain't even looking at our own life. Huh? When I was little, they used to sing a song. Huh? It says, sweep around your own front door. So you try to sweep around mine. That's the move me and my sister used to sing when I was little. Huh? So they said, sweep around your own front door. Huh? How you gonna come tell me huh? I got a few crumbs in front of my door? Huh? And you got garbage bags all in front of your door. Huh? You can't even get in your house. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, Jesus did many, many miracles, uh, signs and wonders, but he did all tied into his purpose. Uh, and his purpose was uh, twofold. Uh, his first purpose was uh, to redeem mankind. Uh, the second purpose was uh, while he was on the earth, uh, it was to glorify God. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, so his, his purpose uh, was to, was, it, 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 it was tied in his purpose to save the souls of man. Uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 10, I want to give you some scripture that you write. Uh, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Uh, mm, look at your neighbor and say, that's me, that's me. Uh -huh. I know I look good right now, but I was lost. Uh -huh. And I'll be the first one to raise my hand. I used to be in the club. I bust the door open, uh, and I had to shut it down. Uh -huh. I was lost. I ain't always been up here preaching. Because uh, see, the reason folks don't repent, uh, because you get saved and get saved. Uh, they say, don't get saved and get saved. Because uh, see, you get saved and then you forget where you came from. Uh, you get saved and forget that you used to eat government cheese. Uh -huh. Some of y'all still are eating. Uh, we used to eat Tom Rowan uh, and all of that stuff. Some of y'all get saved and forget that you used to be a street walker. Oh, y'all don't like it. Uh, a dope pusher. Uh -huh. A crack smoker. Uh, and you get saved and you try to put on this front. Because uh, you think putting on the front makes you seem holy. Uh, but people don't want to. People don't want you to be a putting up a front. Uh, people love people that are transparent. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, I need to be able to see through you. Uh, I know you ain't perfect, but I need you to let me know that. Uh, because if you don't let me know you ain't perfect, uh, you lead me to the assumption that you're self-righteous. Uh, and I don't want to hang around with nobody that's self-righteous. Because uh, self-righteous, folk, well, when you mess up, uh, instead of bringing you back in, uh, they condemn you. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, so watch this, y'all. Uh, for everything Jesus did, uh, it lined up a purpose. Uh, as I begin to look closer at the Bible, Sister Nina, uh, I discovered that Jesus did not do miracles to amaze people. And he did not do miracles because of their relationship with him, but he did it because he knew that the end result of the miracle would be the glorification of the Father. Come on, yes, So in other words, everything Jesus did, he did it because he knew that the person that he did it for would glorify God. Now, now, now you have to ask yourself this question. Did, is Jesus not blessed me yet because if he does, nobody will be glorified but me. Amen. Yes, sir. Silence of the lambs. Yes, sir. Night for Christmas. That's a good time to evaluate. Huh? Because if, if, if you might, you have to ask yourself, if the Lord has not blessed me, huh, could it be because my motive ain't pure yet? Yeah. Oh, man, they don't like me now. So, so watch this. If that is the case, don't get mad. If he ain't blessed you yet, don't get mad, but rejoice because he said no. Yeah. How many people can thank God for a no? Yeah. Ain't that many people clapping? Let me remind you why you need to thank God for a no. 
competing with him, uh, you have to kill it. Uh, you have to remove it uh, before he kills it. Uh, some of us, oh yes, Lord, uh, it's going to get tight again right now. Some of us uh, worship our spouse uh, over God. Uh -huh. Some of us uh, worship our kids over God. Uh, some of us worship our family uh, over God. Uh, some of us worship our friends over God. Uh, and I know y'all looking at me crazy. Uh, how do I worship him over God? Uh, has God ever spoken to you uh, and told you to leave somebody for a season? Uh, or has God ever told you to correct somebody uh, that was influential to you? Uh, and you said, uh -huh, I ain't doing it. Uh, and you didn't do it. Uh, it's because you, at, at that moment uh, in your life, uh, elevated that person uh, above God. Uh, and that person uh, became your God. Uh, oh, y'all don't like it right now. Uh, so come on, say it. Uh, now shall have no other thoughts before me. Uh, now watch this. Uh, in this passage of scripture, uh, and we close it up in 15 minutes. Uh, yes, Lord, because I see some of y'all looking at your watches. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, so watch this. Uh, in this passage of scripture, uh, we see that the disciples uh, have gathered together uh, after the resurrection of Jesus and all of his suffering was over. Now watch this. Teach you a few more things and then we out here. Uh, they gathered together after the resurrection. Uh huh. Yes, Lord. And all of his suffering, oh my God, loose here. Uh, all of his suffering was over. Uh, watch this. Uh, they were nowhere to be found when Jesus was going through. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. People will always be with you when you are in the prime of your ministry. But when you begin to suffer, people will walk away from you. Because everybody wants to have the glory. What about Shonda? But don't everybody want to suffer with you? Oh, God, today. That's why you don't add nobody new to your clique after you come out of your trial. Whoever went through with you is the ones that's supposed to stay with you. And when we go, up, uh, as we add new folks, uh, we get money, uh, oh, we come on up, uh, and we start adding new people to our life, uh, but if you don't suffer with me, even Jesus said that, uh, Jesus said, if you don't suffer with me, uh, then you can't reign with me, uh, oh, God, today, uh, and people always want to show up uh, after the suffering is gone, uh, everybody think you fine uh, when you get the money, uh, but when you broke, uh, busted and disgusted, uh, driving and hooping, uh, money is funny, uh, change is strange, uh, you can't You're supposed to be in the season of your blessing huh? because you didn't attach yourself to a leech. Huh? Look at your neighbor huh? and say, I got some flea be gone though. Huh? And it's called the anointing. Huh? See what happened is, huh? let, me, let me tell you something. Huh? In Psalms 23, huh? the Bible said, David said, huh? Thou anointest my head with oil huh? and my cup running over. Huh? But what happened is, huh? the sheep, oh shy, huh? the maggots will get in their nose huh? and they will crawl in their brains huh? and they will hit their head up against the tree. Huh? Because the maggots would be in their brain, huh? but they could not scratch their head. Huh? So what the shepherd had to do huh? was lift up their head. I feel you, Holy Ghost. Huh? Is lift up their head huh? and pour oil down their nose. Huh? And what the oil would do, it would, it would, it would, it would put the head back down. Huh? The oil would grab every maggot that was in their head huh? and drain it out. Huh? And that's what you need to do. Huh? You need to say, Lord, pour some oil on me. Huh?
much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. But can I beseech you, Brother River, that that is not true? Oh, God. Because James don't say a lot of prayer. And James don't say a little prayer. James says effectual prayer. So I can say, Lord, bless me. And it be more effective than you praying for two hours. Oh, they don't like it right now. When you get on trial, huh? because see, they carry Jesus huh? from courtyard to courtyard. Huh? He grabbed that old rugged cross huh? and carried it up to Calvary. Huh? But one nobody around huh? except one man huh? that helped him carry his cross. Huh? And when they got to Calvary, huh? the Bible says, huh? I feel like preaching that part. Huh? The Bible says, huh? when they got to Calvary, huh? they hung him on Calvary's cross. Huh? They hung
Hebrews declares, let us move on from the elementary things of God to perfection. This year, you got to move past gospel. You have to move past the hurt. You have to move past the pain. You have to shake condemnation loose from you. Because if you're going to be everything God called you to be, you don't need no man's approval. You have to pick up in your mind. If don't nobody else go, as much as I love my wife, she know I love her. But if my wife don't go, I can't stop. And the same for her. She loved me to death. But if I stop, she going to keep going. And if she don't keep going, I'm going to push her and tell her, go on. Don't let, oh my, complacency. Don't let the spirit of complacency set on you. Don't get satisfied where you are. First of all, you're here and you're not saved. You need to be saved. You need to be saved. Why? Because you can't feel purpose and you slip in the dip and trip. God is calling you to a higher place. And I hear the spirit of God say, there's some of you in here. You think you're saved, but you're not. And he says that a sign that you're not saved is that you're frustrated because everything you've been trying to do is not working. And it's not that his hand is against you, but he will not allow anything you do to prosper outside of his will. Talking to somebody, if you're bold enough to accept that and to believe it and to receive it, I want you to rush this altar right now. Don't think about it, don't hesitate, don't procrastinate. Clap your hands, she's coming. See, it's breaking now. 